In this video, I'm going to describe the post-correspondence problem. In the next video, uh, we'll show that this problem is undecidable. The proof is a bit complex, so I'm breaking it out into a separate video. Uh, and in this video, we're just going to introduce the problem so you know what the problem is. Remember the distinction between problems and instances of problems. There is one post-correspondence problem, and there are many instances of it. Each instance is itself a problem to be solved. And so let's look at one particular instance of the post-correspondence problem as an example of what these problems look like. Okay, so here we are given four tiles. Okay, each tile is different, and uh, we, we have four different types of tiles. And in finding a solution to this problem, we can use each of these tiles as many times as we want. So each tile has a top and a bottom, like this one has a top of B and a bottom of CA. And we, can, we have as many of this sort of tile as we need. Okay, there's an uh, 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 infinite supply of tiles. And we have four different kinds of tiles. This one has A, B, C on the top and just C on the bottom. So we get as many of each type of these as we need. Sometimes they're called dominoes, sometimes they're called tiles, um, same thing. Okay, now the goal given these four dominoes is to find a sequence, a finite, I should say, sequence of dominoes such that the top string and the bottom strings are the same. So here's a solution, okay? Um, let's uh, look at this. First of all, notice that we're using the A over AB tile twice. Okay, that's, that was uh, A over AB. We also have a B over CA tile that we're using just once, and we're using the uh, CA over A tile here, and then we're using the uh, last tile um, in the last position. So, is this a solution? The top reads off A, B, C, A, 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 B, C. The bottom reads off A, B, C, A, 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 B, C. So, writing them over here again, you can see that the top string and the bottom strings are equal. A, B, C, A, 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 B, C. A, B, C, A, 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 B, C. So this is a solution. And the problem is, does the solution exist? And it turns out it's undecidable. Okay, we cannot decide this. It's, this is a fascinating problem because it seems so simple. It's like a simple kind of problem you might uh, buy at the store and take home and try to solve. And it seems like, well, gee, a uh, few tiles, well, we, we ought to be able to find uh, whether there's a string or not that, that, that matches the top and bottom. We might ought to be able to uh, determine uh, just by trying all the combinations whether there's a solution or not. But surprisingly, it turns out that this is undecidable. Here's another instance of the post-correspondence problem. Um, I've drawn it a little bit differently to show you that it's the same problem, although it's expressed in a slightly different way. Here we have, again, th three tiles. Well, I guess we had four tiles before, so now we have three tiles, uh, which I've numbered one, two, and three. And instead of having a top and a bottom, we have an A and a B part. Okay, so the first tile has a, a sort of a single one on top and three ones on the bottom, if you will. And uh, the second tile, one, zero, one, one, one. And the B part is one, zero. And then we have a third tile. Now, a solution consists of a sequence of tiles. Okay, here is one potential solution, uh, one, one, two. But this is not a solution. Let's look at this. Tile one has a one, and then one, one, one on the bottom. So one, 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 one. I've drawn the red dots here so you can uh, see where the tiles are. Um, the next one is one, 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 one. And finally, tile two has a one, oh, one, 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 and then a one, oh, on the B side. Now, to make it clearer, I might want to add some little lines here to sort of show where the tiles go. So uh, we can draw a tile here like this, and then we can draw this one like this, um, over here like that. 
and then the last tile uh, we can draw like that. That might be slightly clearer than my dots. Here's another sequence of tiles, and uh, you can see that this is a solution. Here we're using tile 2, 10111, 10111, and 10 on the bottom. And then tile 1, which is a 1 on top and a 111 on the bottom. Again, 1, 111. And finally, tile 3, 1, 0 on the A side and zero on the B side. One zero on the A side and zero. And you can see this time the two strings do match up. Okay, so this is a solution to this instance of the problem. Here's another instance of the post correspondence problem. Uh, we have three tiles and the, the tiles are, are given here with an A side and a B side or, or a top if you will and a bottom if you will. Um, and let's try to find a solution. So the first tile, the first tile we use uh, can either be tile 1, tile 2, or tile 3. So I'm going to look at each of those cases. Tile 1 has 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Tile 2 has 0, 1, 1, and 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And tile 3 has 101 on the top and 011 on the bottom. 101, 011 on the bottom. Okay, so uh, now let's examine each of these. Well, if we start with tile 2, we can see right off the bat we have a mismatch. So we can't start with tile 2 because the strings will never match because they don't match in the first position. Likewise, if we started with tile 3, well, again, we have a mismatch in both the first and the second positions. So um, clearly any sequence that starts with tile 3 won't work. So we have to start with tile 1. Okay, So let's say we start with tile 1. and uh, Let's look at the cases. Um, we're starting with tile 1. We, we, we could follow it with either a tile 1 or a tile 2 or a tile 3. And so let's look at all those possibilities for the second tile. Okay, So if we start with tile 1, and then follow it with tile 1, 10101. Then we see that, okay, we, we have the string matching up to the fourth position, but then we have a mismatch. So this won't work. The solution, if it exists, cannot start with 1, 1. How about if, if we start with tile 1, 10101, and then follow it with tile 2? Well, it uh, doesn't match there. Uh, on the third position it doesn't match. So we c any solution cannot exist that starts with tile 1 and tile 2. If we have a solution it can't begin with tile 1 and tile 2. So any solution that exists must begin with tile, with tile 1 followed by tile 3. And that looks good. Tile 3 is 101 on the top, 0, 1, 1 on the bottom. 101 on the top, 0, 1, 1 on the bottom. And we match up just fine. Okay? Now we have a 1 here. And so um, all we can, we, we could use tile, um, the only thing that will match at this point is tile 3 again. Okay? And if we put another tile 3, we get 101, 0, 1, 1. And again, that fits. So we could keep going with tile 3, but that would be an infinite sequence. You can see that the, if tile 3 is the only thing that works here, then um, we're never going to be able to um, succeed. Okay? Um, we, can, we can see that we can't use a tile 2 here because tile 2 starts with a 0 there, and that wouldn't match this 1. Um, we might uh, think of putting a tile 1 here, but then we have 1, 0 here, and on the bottom we'd have 1, 0, oh, 1. So the 1, 0 would not match the 1. So we can't use a tile 1 here. I didn't show the other possibilities uh, why tile 1 or tile 2 in the third position wouldn't work. 
only tile three in the third position would work. So we could have an uh, uh, we can only use tile three from here on out, and so we'll always ha we can never finish the string. Uh, a solution has to be a finite sequence of tiles. So, in a sense, we've proven that there is no solution for this problem. Okay, and so we have found a proof that uh, this instance of the post correspondence problem is uh, not uh, in the in the language so the answer is no here there is no solution and we found a proof for why there is none but in general it's undecidable and in the next video we'll look at the proof of that